Hello YouTube! So today's video is going to be about my wedding regrets and things that went wrong during my wedding. I know that with the coronavirus going around right now, there are a lot of brides out there who have to postpone their weddings or even cancel their weddings and my heart goes out to you guys. It is a really tough time right now to be celebrating and you know, you've been planning for so many months and now it's postponed or it's canceled or whatever it might be. But please look at the bright side. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You will get through this and you will find the right time to celebrate you and your spouses or future spouses love. I hope this video can bring you some light and entertainment. And I hope it also shows you that nothing goes right on your wedding day and all you can really do is just accept it and move forward from there and just do what you can. I feel like that intro was a downer, but I didn't mean it to be. <laughs> Sorry. Also, I wanted to mention if you don't already follow Jamie Wolfer on here, she's a really great resource for brides and she recently just did a video about coronavirus and just things that you should consider if your wedding is a little bit later this year. And I think she provides really great insight and helpful tips. And she obviously has a lot of great DIY and projects as well. So please go to her channel, check out her video. I have it linked down below. All right, so going into my wedding, I knew that not everything was going to be perfect to begin with. So I did not, or at least I tried to not be a bridezilla. And that is just because I knew that I was going to have a big wedding guest list and I mentioned that before we had close to 500 guests and that was also very stressful in itself not only that just coming from a Vietnamese background my parents are really into parties and throwing big events and stuff like that so this was very important for them especially since I'm their first daughter and their first child to get married like my wedding was a big deal for them so basically I went into the wedding thinking that it is my parents party it's not really my wedding and that's what I would joke about all the time so some of the things that went wrong I'm not gonna say that it was my parents fault but I mean who else can I blame so the first major thing that went wrong in my wedding was the weather it is something that you cannot predict obviously especially in the Midwest it's just so hard to know when the weather's gonna be great my wedding was at the end of September and I'm in the Chicagoland area so it was supposed to be nice, but then the day came and it was misty basically all day. It was downpouring in the morning and it lightened up a little bit by the time our tea ceremony in the morning started. It didn't ruin everyone's time and we definitely didn't let it ruin our time, but it was not ideal, especially since like you have your hair and makeup done, so that's kind of falling apart. Not to mention you're crying a lot as well, but the weather really does affect your hair so much. So I felt like I had to recurl my hair a couple of times. Not only that, my makeup was not staying on as long as I'd like it to, especially since I had airbrush makeup on. Like being the bride, you're just outside for the majority of the time taking pictures and things like that. But the one bright side that I can say about having it be overcast is that you don't have shadows on your face because when you're taking photos, it's kind of more ideal to have overcast and not harsh lighting hitting your face because that kind of creates those shadows. So that's kind of the one nice thing is that our pictures came out better because there wasn't a harsh light hitting our faces. But it was just kind of annoying that it was really cold and rainy. I felt bad for my bridesmaids because we were doing a photo shoot along the lake and they obviously got really cold and they stuck it out as long as they could and then kind of headed back to the bus. But weather is definitely something you can't plan for and when things go wrong, you just kind of have to go with the flow and embrace it. Not to mention the weather also really messed up with a lot of my guests' flight plans. So we had a bunch of guests coming in from California and since they booked through a low budget airline, not gonna name who, it was Spirit. Um, 20 people couldn't even come to our wedding because their flight got completely canceled. So that was one thing that I wish wasn't so affected by the weather. So that was also a really big bummer, but there was nothing we could really do about it. Luckily, our wedding venue let us cancel their meals, so we weren't charged for their plates. So that was one good thing, but yeah, it kind of sucked that they weren't there, but uh, what can you do? <laughs> I was just checking my phone and one of my friends just commented on one of my videos about my wedding dress and this goes along with one of the things that went wrong during my wedding and that was that I got alcohol on my dress. I think I spilled, it was some type of dark liquid. It was a Coke or like Hennessy or something like that. I obviously got way too excited and I'm already pretty clumsy so I literally just hit the bar and then it fell onto my dress and I was kind of freaking out at first but then I was like, oh whatever, like 
who cares? It's already the end of the night. No one's really gonna see me. I'll probably have to bring it to the dry cleaners, but it'll be fine. But luckily, one of my friends was there and she helped me clean this up. She literally watched it happen and she probably was like, Tina, what are you doing? Get it together. But she thought so quickly to get club soda and just pour it all over my dress and it literally got all of it out. I think there's just one tiny little stain in the dress, but you can't even see it really. So thank God to her and just like, thinking quick on her feet because I honestly would have just left it there. So if you get anything on your dress, put club soda on it, but prepare for the worst. I feel like as a bride, like so many things have led up to this moment. So just don't let something small like that ruin your night. I've heard of a horror story that my friend told me she was at a wedding and her friend got red wine stuck on her dress and she literally spent the entire night alone because she like fled the reception and just was crying and you know was by herself so just don't let small things like that break you because honestly it's only one night and it goes by so fast so you just kind of have to go with the flow hope for the best i feel like that's going to be a theme in this video i'm just going to keep saying go with the flow because not everything that you plan out as much as you plan it out is going to go according to plan so the third thing that i thought could have gone better at my wedding and it's not a regret because i honestly don't regret anything from that day because it was the best day ever but it was my dj slash mc so i had an mc that i've never met before that my mom really wanted her as like a vietnamese mother she just really wanted someone specific to be announcing things in vietnamese and then announcing in english so she was kind of like oh i know this guy he's really good like he has great english and he can speak in vietnamese blah, 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 blah. so i was like okay fine whatever like i don't really need him to say too much anyways so it'll be fine and i will have a script for him and he can translate it and do what he wants with that and boy do I wish that I just didn't have an MC and just had people go up and not have announcements? Much love to him, but like, he was just talking way too much and I was already behind schedule because, hello, you have 500 people moving from your cocktail hour to your banquet hall and that takes already a lot of time. So by the time like, Brian and I were getting announced to go onto our actual reception, it was so late. I think we were probably like 20, 25 minutes late. And I was just like, okay, can we get this started? Like, let's go. Our parents go up and then our bridal party goes up and then finally it's Brian and Brian's turn. And I'm just standing there waiting for him to say, you know, like introducing Mr. and Mrs. Mac. Instead, he like keeps announcing and he's like, oh, make sure you put this on Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and don't forget to blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, please just carry on. Get us onto the floor because I really want dinner. <laughs> one of the best things that happened from my MC being there though was this one clip that he kind of said at the beginning after he introduced us. We went up to like cut the cake and then he says, Brian, you may kiss the bride's surprise. All right, Brian, you may kiss the bride's surprise. And I'll insert a clip of that, but like, it was just so funny and like so random and make no sense. And now it's kind of like an inside joke that we kind of just say randomly and it just cracks me up every time. So I'm grateful to him for making that such a funny moment at my wedding. So if you have an MC, make sure it's someone that you like and trust and make sure they stick to the actual timeline because that definitely did not happen with my wedding. And when it came to my DJ, he was actually someone that is kind of well known in the Vietnamese community. My mom really, really wanted him because he had like pyrotechnics and lighting and really awesome equipment, I guess, for DJing. And he was really helpful and sweet because he did decorate and make the place look really awesome as well. But I think the one thing I just wish that didn't happen was that um, before the wedding he asked me like oh do you want me to bring my karaoke gear in case the guests want to karaoke and I was like no I spoke to my parents and they were kind of like no we don't have to do karaoke like we karaoke all the time because honestly they do karaoke all the time at their weddings so yeah they were okay with not having karaoke so I told him no karaoke double check with my parents no karaoke. So as soon as I left the banquet hall and went to go change into my traditional Vietnamese outfit, so we were in this dressing room right next to the banquet hall. All I hear is boom, boom, boom. And literally the walls were shaking. And this was in the middle of dinner and I was really confused as to why music was blasting while people are literally trying to just eat food. This was probably the thing that made me mad the most, but like really what could I do at that point? 
and guess what? There was karaoke. That's why it was so loud because we had some random guy, don't know who he was still, don't know who asked him to sing. I had to ask someone else to go and talk to him and be like, hey man, like, let's cut that out and not do that. And people are sitting right next to the speakers, so I am so sorry to all the people that sat next to the speakers because that was not pleasant. One of the most annoying things that happened that night, but most people didn't seem to mind. I think most people that were at the wedding were just really happy to be there and just wanted to have a really good time, so they weren't letting any of the small things get to them either. But honestly, your guests don't realize that. They don't know what was planned and what wasn't planned. So when things go wrong, most likely they're not gonna notice. Yeah, I just think about my wedding day and it just brings back so many good memories and so many funny memories. Most important thing about your wedding is honestly you and your spouse and just like your love and energy in the room. That's what people are really gonna remember and just having a positive attitude the whole time, taking in all the little moments is so important that night. So really hope that this video showed you that anything and everything can go wrong and you just have to have a good attitude and things are gonna be okay. I have notes here because I always forget to say these things at the end, but please check out my vlog channel. I have a vlog channel with my husband and we post videos pretty frequently down there. Our wedding video is also on that channel so I'll link it down below so you can kind of see everything that went down with my wedding and obviously none of these bad parts are in there. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'll have it here or here. Um, I'm posting pictures every single day to kind of keep my creative juices flowing. Some of you guys have actually reached out to me already in my messages and I just feel so grateful that I am here to be a resource for you guys and I'm just happy to be doing this wedding series right now so thank you guys so much for all the love and I will see you in the next video. Bye!